Okay, here we go. Um, yom yom. Here we go. Yom yom. The Tzemach Tzedek, he composed many melodies. He studied Torah aloud and with song. Sometimes he would stop in the middle of learning and he would sing a song. My grandfather, that's the Rebbe, the Rebbe Shmuel, he said that from the sound of the Tzemach Tzedek's melody, he could tell in what subject he was then occupied. From the, what type of melody he was singing, he knew if he was learning Midrash, if he was learning uh, the Chumash, it was... Okay, that's yesterday. That's today. Let's learn Shabbat. Okay, when you put on the small talit, you have a talit katan is a small talit that you put on underneath your shirt or whatever. There's some chassidim to put it over, but in Chabad, generally they don't, unless it's a hot day. You should put it on when your hands are already clean. In other words, you already washed your hands in a place where you could say a blessing. You say, al mitzvah tzitzit. This is for people that aren't married. People that are married in Chabad, at least we wear a big talit and we make the blessing on the big talit, not on the small one. Unless, like Erev Shabbat, when you change your talit, it's katan, so you should make a blessing on the small talit also, but you don't do it when you're in the mikvah or whatever, only when you're outside. <clears throat> you, it, if there's some reason why you can't put on, why you can't make a blessing when you put on the small talit, the talit which is next to your body, then before you start the prayer, you hold the four tzitzit and you say the blessing then. But if you're wearing a liar's talit, then you don't say a blessing for the small talit, talit gadol. That's our custom. Good. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let us learn the. Sorry, yeah, yeah.